Assalamu alaikum students so how are you all i hope that you all are doing great welcome to your channel mahdi wani to scientific academy today our lecture is related to chapter 13 which is perimeter and area of plane figures and your book is new syllabus mathematics 1 nsm 1 d1 math okay ji students i am going to explain you question number 5 Before starting the lecture, I request you that if you want more help regarding your subject, then you can subscribe the channel. Students, so here you can see question number five. Okay, ji. So here, this is question number five, and it's written that a piece of wire one forty four centimeter long is bent to form a semicircle as shown in the figure. Find the diameter of the semicircle, uh, giving your answer in meters. So students, we have to find out the diameter of a semicircle. So the formula is okay. First, write down the information which is given. They are saying that a piece of wire one forty four centimeter. Students, you know that this is a semi circle. So this is basically a whole wire, and you know that outer boundary is called perimeter. Outer boundary is called perimeter. So this whole outer boundary is basically a wire. It means that. A piece of wire one four centimeter long is the perimeter of the semicircle. So here, so it means that perimeter is given, and we have to find out the diameter of the semicircle, and we have to give our answer in meters. So here the formula is perimeter of semicircle. And the formula is half as it is semicircle, so I will use half pi d plus d. As you know that if you have to find out the perimeter of the whole circle, then the formula will be equal to two pi r. And so remember that perimeter is also called circumference. Okay, perimeter of the circle is also called circumference. When we find out the circumference of the whole circle, so this is the formula which is two pi r. But here, as it is uh, the semicircle, so we are going to use the formula. Half pi d plus d. Okay, we do not know that what is d. So we are supposing that let's diameter is x. So we are supposing that diameter is x. So I am going to write down x over here. The perimeter is given, which is one forty four, and half pi is given. They have told you that write down the value of pi, which is twenty two by seven in the fractional form, and d is x, and this d. It is also x. D and D in place of D, I have put x because we have assumed that diameter is x. So now we will solve it. Okay, G. Twenty-two ones are twenty-two, and two sevens are fourteen. X plus x. So here this is the fraction. There is here there is nothing in the denominator, so I can put one. So now mm, you know that whenever there are fractions and in between there is a plus or minus sign, so you have to take the LCM. So here I am going to take the LCM. Okay, the LCM will be would be fourteen. Okay, so fourteen ones are fourteen and one fourteen is a fourteen. So plus fourteen x. This fourteen is dividing over here, and if we come to this side, it will multiply. Okay, this fourteen plus twenty two will be equal to. Thirty-six x. Okay, you now multiply one forty-four with fourteen. So it will be two thousand one hundred and sixteen is equal to x. Now I have to multiply this thirty-six is multiplying with x. If we come to this side, it will divide. So when you will divide two thousand sixteen with thirty-six, you will get fifty-six. So, students, our answer is basically in meters, okay, mm, in centimeter. So, we have to find out the answer in meters, centimeter. Students, so we know that we have to find out the answer in meters. So, to convert it into meter, we have to divide it with hundred. So, I am going to divide it with hundred to convert it into meter. So, fifty six divided by hundred will be equal to zero point five six meter. So let's remember that one meter is equal to hundred centimeter. So that's why we have divided it with hundred to convert it into meter. So I hope that question number five is clear to you. Let's come to question number seven. I'm going to explain you question number seven. 
I'll make a separate video for question number six, but right now I'm going to explain you question number seven. Okay, so question number seven is in the figure four quadrants, each of it is two meter, are removed from a rectangle. Find the perimeter and the area of the figure. So, so we basically what we have to find out, we have to remove these quadrants from this shape and we have to find out the area of this which is left after these dotted lines. Okay, these dotted lines are extra. We have to remove these dotted lines from this shape. Then we'll get the area and then we have to find out the perimeter and area of the figure. Uh, okay, students, so remember that uh, this whole length is 9 meter and uh, this length is, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 2. So, it will make 2 plus 3 plus 2 will be equal to when we will add all these values, we will get 7 meter. Okay, so so we can find out the perimeter of the figure if we remove um, these dotted lines from the shape of the total, uh, from, the, uh, from the whole figure. So, the whole figure is basically the rectangle. So, it means that we will subtract these dotted lines from the, uh, we'll subtract these dotted lines from the rectangle. And then, students, we have to add these boundaries in the perimeter to get the perimeter of the figure. Okay, so this is what we have to do. Now, I'm going to explain you that how would we do it. Perimeter is, students, you know the art of formula of the perimeter. We are going to find out the perimeter of the figure. So, for, for the perimeter of the figure, it means that from the whole figure, from the, from the whole figure, we have to subtract these dotted lines. So, the perimeter of the whole figure is, the whole figure is a rectangle. So, the perimeter, the formula to find out the perimeter of the rectangle is 2 length plus breadth. And then we have to subtract these dotted lines. And here you can see that these dotted lines are when you will add up the values you will get uh, 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 4 8 and then 4 then 4 so it means that we have to subtract these 4s 2 plus 2 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4, two plus two is four. so we have to subtract all 4s from the perimeter of the whole figure so as you know that in perimeter uh, basically, what is the perimeter? So, perimeter is the outer boundary of the whole figure. So, we are finding out the outer boundary. Basically, these are the rectangles. So we have written it. And we are subtracting the dots from the whole figure. And again, this boundary is left. So, we have to add this boundary. Can you see this boundary? Okay. So, students, when you join this boundary, you can see that these, there are, these are the four quadrants. Okay. So, when you join these four quadrants, you will get a circle because a circle is from from the four quadrants so these are four basically the quadrants one two three four so these four when you will combine these boundaries you will get a circle so the formula to find out the perimeter of the circle is 2 pi r okay and the perimeter of the circle is also called the circumference of the circle so you will add this boundary to this boundary this boundary so this boundary and if you combine it will make a circle so it means that we will add the formula of the circle to get the perimeter of the figure. I am again telling you from the whole figure which is a rectangle 2 length plus you will subtract this bar, these dotted lines which are these, this 4, 4, 4, 4 you have to add these okay and then you have to add this boundary because perimeter is the boundary of any shape okay so you will add the boundary which is a circle so you will write down, you will write down the uh, formula to find out the perimeter of the circle which is 2 pi r so this is what you have to do now I'm going to write down the values. Okay. So length is given. Length of the whole length is 9. And breadth is also given. The whole breadth is 7. When you will add all these 4 values, you will get 16. And you have to write down the formula of 2 pi r. So as you can see that the radius is 2 meter. The radius is 2 meter. So you will write down. 2 pi 2. So here you will add it 2. 9 plus 7 will be 16. Minus 16 plus 2 to the 4, 4 pi. You will multiply 4 with pi, you will get 12.56. So I can round off and I can write down 12.6. So now 16 twos are 32. Minus 16 
plus 12.6. Now I'm going to solve it. 32 minus 16 plus 12.6. So I will get 28.6 meter. So this is the perimeter of the figure. So here, uh, till here, I hope that it's clear to you. We have found the perimeter of the figure. Now I'm going to explain you that how would we find out the area of the figure. So students in the area we can find out the area of figure. Okay, you can find out the area of the figure if uh, uh, you know that what is area perimeter is the outer boundary of the figure area is basically the space. Okay, here this is the space. We have to find out this space. So how can we find out if from the area of the whole figure we subtract the area of the circle? These are the four quadrants. Four quadrants make up one circle. So from the area of the whole figure, we'll subtract the area of these four quadrants, which is a circle. So it means that the whole figure is a rectangle. So from the whole figure and the formula to find out the area of the rectangle is the whole figure is a rectangle. Na? So here we'll write down the formula to find out the area of the rectangle. So the whole figure is length multiplied by breadth. This is the area of the whole figure, which is a rectangle. Minus, you will subtract the area of these four quadrants, which is a circle. And the formula to find out the area of the circle is pi r square. So here this is how we will find out. Length is given which is 9 and breadth is 7 minus pi. R is given which is 2. So we will take the square of 2. 63. 7 9 is a 63. Minus. When you will take the square of 2 you will get 4. 4 pi will be equal to. Okay. So it will be equal to 12.6. So when you will subtract 63 from it, you will get 50.4. This is question number 7. Huh? So 50.4 meters square. This is your the this is your area. This is the area of the figure. Uh, students, I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. Mm, do the practice of these things because when you will do the practice, then this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much, and Allah Hafiz.